Hi everybody and welcome back to the Ken's Log channel. Today I'm talking about something a little bit different than I normally talk about. I'm talking about cigarettes and a friend of mine is stopping. They've made a date in the future to stop smoking so I told him I'm going to make you a video and hopefully I can give you some tips and maybe some good reasons why you should continue down the path of uh, stopping smoking. Uh, first of all, very first thing is don't quit. We've been told from our childhood to never quit anything, so don't quit smoking. You know, every sign out there says quit smoking, quit smoking, quit smoking. Well, I think that's maybe the wrong approach. Um, you should uh, you should look at it as stopping, you know. So I'm not gonna sit here and assume that you're, you know, not educated because there's so much education out there about cigarettes and how dangerous they are that, that you know, you know, and that's probably one of the reasons that you've clicked on this video to, to help you stop smoking, uh, to gain some encouragement or some tips uh, to help you along the way. And hopefully I can help you. I, I definitely would like to see a smoke-free planet. That, uh, that would be the, uh, the obvious goal. But uh, if it helps just one person, that's even good too. Uh, so I wish you luck, my friend, and I hope this video helps you. The very first thing that comes to mind when uh, somebody stops smoking is the amount of money they'll save. And I think that's only looked at as, okay, I spend $7 a day on cigarettes. And, you know, I smoke a whole pack a day. And this, is just, this may not be you. You may have some other experience. But uh, in my experience, I smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. Maybe, maybe even a pack and, and a couple. I don't remember what it was. But... I averaged it out, and if I had stopped smoking today at seven bucks a pack, that's fifty bucks a week that would be going out of my pocket, and you know, into Big Tobacco's hands. And Big Tobacco wants you to stop smoking; they know it's bad for you. Um, and you know, I think this uh, R.J. Reynolds isn't that who these guys are? No, this is Philip Morris. Um, they've been uh, they've been really proactive in getting uh, you know cigarettes out of kids' hands. Uh, maybe not out of the adults, but uh, uh, maybe they have, and I just don't know. If, but they also know that smoking is bad for you. You know, they lied for years, but now they know. So, um, seven dollars a day. So that's what twenty-six hundred dollars a year that I would be spending in cigarettes if I was still smoking today. But I don't. Uh, you know, and that money kind of blends in. You don't really see it but uh you know i don't have to worry about if i have enough money for cigarettes the next day uh like i did when i was younger you know some sometimes you have to go okay do i buy myself something to eat or do i buy a pack of cigarettes and i've had that that contemplation a few times you know and i have kids you guys know that so it was always food before cigarettes but uh you know once they reached, I think it was $4 a pack, I was just like, I can't do it anymore. I'm not going to smoke anymore. I have to find a way to quit. Uh, and I just I just thought about it for a while. Uh, and I made myself a date. It was two weeks in the future. And I said, that's the day I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm not going to let these things control me anymore. It, uh, and it really is a control. Nicotine is an addiction. And, and stopping nicotine is very, very difficult, but I'm not gonna lie to you. And anybody who says it's easy is a liar. It's not easy. It's more addictive than heroin, uh, supposedly. Although I just, I can't imagine, um, you know, nicotine being more addictive than, you know, an illicit drug and, and it still being illegal. It uh, doesn't make any sense, but they say the withdrawal effects from smoking, um, you know, are, pretty bad uh, if you don't use any type of coping mechanism to, to help yourself. So a lot of people eat, you know, when they stop smoking and that's okay. It's okay to gain, you know, five, 10 pounds to stop uh, an unhealthy habit uh, like smoking because you can always, you know, diet and exercise and get rid of that uh, fairly, you know, quickly within a couple weeks, you can lose five pounds. The, uh, but the amount of damage that a cigarette does to you you know, lasts a lifetime and takes forever to heal from. It, uh, you know, I smoked for 22 years, so I still have a very, very high chance of, of getting lung cancer. 
Uh, I started smoking when I was 11 years old uh, due to peer pressure. And, uh, and then my parents, you know, they didn't say don't smoke because they smoked themselves, you know, and they always smoked in the car with us, smoked in the house, things like that. No, but they didn't know any better. And even when I was uh, a young father, I smoked around my kids. And, uh, you know, finally I, wi I wised up. I was like, this is, you know, bad for them once I got more That's information out there, uh, problems I would have. Uh, this year, I haven't been sick. And since I stopped smoking, I rarely get sick. It's, uh, it's kind of amazing, actually, how uh, my body was so enamored with cigarettes and was so, uh, you know, taking care of getting rid of all those toxins all the time. And my body was never able to, you know, fight off a virus or, you know, a bacteria or whatever it is. Uh, so I would always be sick, you know, always have a cough. Uh, you know, and if I ever got the cold, it would always last a week longer than, uh, you know, my coworker who also had a cold. It was pretty evident that uh, cigarettes were doing that to me. Um, so you not only lose the money from buying and smoking the cigarettes, but you lose, you know, I have to go get antibiotics. I have to go see the doctor, co-pays, things of that nature, uh, just because I wanted to continue smoking. So you save money there too. And then you, you know, you also save money cleaning. Uh, you know, if you smoke around anything, uh, it's gonna smell like smoke. Uh, you know, even if it's your your back patio or whatever, it's gonna smell like smoke. Uh, and then when you stop smoking, you'll go out there and you'll be like, God, this stinks. And you're gonna have to clean it. You know, and if you smoke inside your car, you're gonna have to clean your car. It's almost like those smells will never go out of the car. Once uh, a car has been smoked in, that, that smell, I don't think it can go away because I always seem to smell it now that I'm a non-smoker. Um, but, you know, the, the cleaning aspect and, uh, you know, that costs you money. Now, the second thing is your health. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not going to treat you like you're stupid. Uh, you know it causes heart disease. You know it causes COPD, lung cancer bladder cancer, uh, every kind of cancer, uh, probably even brain cancer can be associated with tobacco use because you're putting carcinogens constantly in your body. There's like 69 known chemicals in a cigarette that will cause cancer, 69. Uh, and there's already, there's over 4,800 chemicals in a cigarette, in a cigarette. You know, even if you're smoking the cigarettes, I don't know what they're called. They have like an Indian on them and they're supposed to be all natural, nothing added. That's not the case. There is still a ton of cancer causing chemicals in those cigarettes. They may not add, you know, ammonia or whatever it is that, you know, Marlboro puts in there, but they, uh, they're still horrible for you. It is not a product that, uh, you know, that, that in any way could ever be good for you. Um, you know, maybe nicotine as a, um, oil or something maybe I don't know that may have some medical use uh, I know nicotine is used for um, bowel issues when people uh, have bowel issues I uh, you know from family experience the uh, the nicotine did help you know but you can get that in a gum or a patch or whatever it is um, and that's the other thing if you need something to help you along with cigarette uh, Secession, you can, you know, they have patches, gum, lozenges, pills. They have the, uh, what was that thing they gave me? Uh, it was an antidepressant, but they used it for smoking secession. Um, I want to, I don't remember, I'll put it on the screen there. And then the, uh, uh, maybe it was Zyban, Zyban, maybe that's what it was. And then they have that new one that makes everyone want to kill themselves. <laughs> But uh, it, it works great, supposedly. Uh, so, you know, there's that option. Or you can just quit cold turkey, you know, chew bubble gum. Or, you know, I used, uh, what did I use when I stopped smoking? I used straws, you know, those little plastic straws that come in your coffee. I'd chew on And then uh, I'd also use, you know, bubble gum. Not bubble gum, but, you know, um, trident. Spearmint gum. I was addicted to that after I stopped smoking. But, uh, you know, that, you don't want to get addicted to gum, I don't think. 
Um, but use anything you need. If it's food, if it's a lozenge, if it's gum, whatever. To, you know, whatever tool you need to use to stop smoking, use it. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say go use uh, cocaine to stop smoking, but uh, uh, if you have to chew on something or you have to do use anything, just it's okay because you're not going to get addicted to, to oranges, um, but uh, you are addicted to cigarettes and you need to stop. The, uh, the third thing that, uh, <clears throat> that I took into consideration and probably the most important thing that I took into consideration was the amount of time that I spent on smoking cigarettes. I spent two hours per day on cigarettes because you take in the amount of time that it, I have to go out of my way to go get a pack of cigarettes. So that was an extra 10 to 15 minutes a day. Uh, and then you take in the amount of time it takes to smoke a cigarette. I had to walk out of the building, go to a designated area, it took me about a minute to get there, and then smoke the cigarette, you know, four or five minutes, and then walk back. So a total of eight minutes times 20 times a day. That's 160 minutes. 160 minutes a day that I spent on smoking. So that's two and a half, almost three hours a day on smoking. Three times seven is 21. I almost lost an entire day every week because of smoking. And one of the biggest complaints that uh, I hear out of you know all my friends is I don't have enough time. There, I just gave you an extra day. When you stop smoking, here, you get your Sunday back. Literally, you get a day back. You get an extra day back in your life because you stop smoking. And you're gonna be like, what am I gonna do with all that time? Well, you'll find things to do. You'll uh, you know, enjoy your family more, enjoy your hobby more, enjoy your whatever more. It, uh, you're gonna have time to do it. Uh, you know, and if you're one of those people that uh, is at work and maybe you're a social smoker uh, you're just gonna have to find a different way to be sociable you know those those friends of yours that uh, that you go you know out on break with to have a cigarette with you know maybe you could just encourage them or you can continue to go out with them but you gotta stand about 20 feet away because by the time you're done with cigarettes you'll hate them they stink they are absolutely wretched things and you'll be like, why did I smell and or inhale that stuff for so many years? It's just, uh, it's amazing how great food tastes. It's your health and it's your time. And cigarettes are taking those away from you right now. So making a great decision today and continuing to make great decisions for the next couple of weeks. And, and when I say great decisions, you're going to have moments and you're just going to be like, I need a cigarette or I'm going to kill somebody. And um, those last anywhere from 30 seconds to 8 minutes. Um, and, and the 8 minute scale is pretty up there. I know mine lasted about a minute. So you just got to find something to do. You know, whether it's, you know, throw a ball in the air. It's like, oh, I got to get through this. I'm going to get through it. Okay. All right. I'm good. Uh, you know, whatever it is, uh, I would just get up and start walking around. Uh, and I would, you know, maybe I would go over to uh, my wife and start a conversation with her or a coworker. And I would say, hey, I'm having a little bit of difficulty right now. You know, you want to talk to me real quick? And, uh, you know, everybody's more than willing to help you get more healthy. So don't act as you're inconveniencing somebody because they'll be like, they're ready to help you. Unless they don't like you in the first place, then they may not want you to stop smoking. But, uh, you know, your friends are there. You And it's even better if you can stop smoking with somebody or a group of people, uh, whatever it may be. But for the next two weeks, it's going to be, your life is going to be hard and you're going to have to practice patience, uh, practice good decisions. And if you fail, don't consider it a failure. Consider it a step down. 
but the next time that craving comes up and you are able to get past it, you took another step up the ladder to stopping. You know, every time that you make it past that craving, you are taking another step to success. And you will get there. You'll if you if now let's say that you get five days into this and you go back to cigarettes and you're like, God, I can't believe it. It's okay. It's okay. You you're human. You're gonna make mistakes. We just come back to it. Make sure you continue on with the uh, the goal in mind that you want your money, your health, and most importantly, your time back. Because not only do you get that extra day every week, you get 15 more years of life, 15 more years to spend with people you love, and uh, and hopefully that's enough for you to stop. But I wish you very well. Um, if you need support. Uh, at any time, you can you know leave a message in this video. That's my, I'll respond to it, uh, and I'll actually look out for these because I I would like to to see a lot of people stop somebody. smoking. Don't make it because you want to impress somebody or you want to um, you want to do it for somebody else for whatever reason. Do it for yourself, for yourself, not for anybody else. This is for you, you are telling cigarettes, I want my money back, I want my health back, and I want my time back. And in the next two weeks, I'm gonna get those three things back. So you're just gonna have to live with it, cigarettes. That's how it's gonna be. I'm done with you. We're over. So I hope this little video has helped you. I really do, and I wish you so much luck. Uh, and like I said, it's gonna be difficult but you're gonna be really proud of yourself. It's, uh, it's one of the most important decisions you'll ever make in your life. So I wish you good luck. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.